smells like cocaine. Yes. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, b -b -b let's just let's just jump into it. Mountain Dew, journalist edition. What he do though? Radiation. Wait, what? Inning. Unknown. Oh shit. All right, radiation. Also, this this thing lies. It says one star, but these were like two star. So. Anyways, there's supposedly an antenna high up on the summit that is amplifying the electromagnetic radiation. You need to find out what the effect. Oh, what the hell is this in the air? What the fuck? What? <laughs> you need to find out what effect it has on the amulet. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bring the amulet to the summit and then reach your goal. This mission is unlocked. You have not played it yet. Whoa, what the hell? New things! There's a lot of modifiers here. Choose a route. Oh, I get to choose. Okay. First, this is a three star. Ooh, okay. Why is the map a one star then? Whatever. Uh, environment, normal weather, cold nights. The nights on this. This is so, such a small font. Thankfully, it gives the larger one. The nights on this route are colder than usual. Increased body temperature loss at night. Minus one. Mm hmm. So we gotta focus on the uh, body temperature. Loss reduction, and you know what that that calls? That calls for an adventure. Adventure gets plus three at night. Yeah, so that would be a plus two. Well, it, could, it would probably still be like a plus zero point five, plus one. Yeah. Also starts with an extra thirty. Scientist. Like this sucks. A journalist also doesn't have heat management. There's energy and sanity management. You know what we're doing, journalists, because I just like it. Also, I do have some terrain night resistance. One. Yeah, look at that. So that one is already contracted with by the night resistance. So we're fine. We're fine. Anomaly, increase time cost of moving and choose one. <laughs> so we can have very thin air. Breathing is harder on the route on this route. Minus 0 0.8 oxygen per hour. Ooh. Very rough terrain, a lot of energy cost and time cost. Or eerie very eerie surroundings. Shadows and the noises follow you on this route. Oh my god, sanity loss? E It's gonna be the very thin air. So very thin air. Wait. Oh, it gives different stuff. Eerie surroundings gives me event proficiency. Rough terrain gives terrain, and then thin air gives environment. What do I need? So eerie stuff would give this. I don't really care about this. Terrain. Environment. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Let's just go. Fuck it. I choose thin air. And uh, I get tour journalist. I could take a crampon instead of the f uh, the flashlight, and I could take two torches instead of the canned food, but I won't because it's stupid. Let's go. And what's the worst that can happen? We die? Ha ha ha. Oh! Cutscene. Holy crap, so we have to go to the side and then up. Holy sh. Oh! Jesus! That's far away. It's like the first mission. Holy crap. Life is Strange, that's a video game. It's probably trademarked. So don't read that. The cliff face rises impressively above you. Hmm. It all seems surreal. So incredible, the research station, the time loop. 
What have you gotten yourself into? Cold air flows into your lungs, and now, to top it all off, you have to think your way into an experience experiment. With an antenna at the top of this mountain, you gotta sit on it. Yeah. You gaze down at the glowing green stone, even if that woman's theory is correct, and the stone is charged with radiation, in which case you already have you're you're gonna already have like four types of cancer. Why would that affect time loop? Are you putting your life in danger? Pfft, it's always in danger. You take a deep breath, then give yourself a shake. A milkshake. Uh. Waiting here twinning your thumbs is not an option. Better face your fate. Fate? I... Ay ay ay. It's all ice. Oh wow, it's like a frozen river. That's cool. Ice, ice, baby. It starts so low. There are trees. So I saw the map. Gotta go that way. And then up. Because if I go this way, there's nothing. Can't go up there. This is the earliest bend. I saw the map. Jesus, not a lot of events. One, two... There's a lot more here, look at that, even even back there, holy crap, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And on this way, it's like... Two. Well, that's easy to choose, then. Um, let's go, journalist. So yeah, look at that. Oxygen is fine. Herb tasting. Okay, this is new. Notice some shimmering blue herbs growing in a fissure. They emit an intoxicating fragrance. You approach them to take a closer look. But unfortunately, your botanical expertise is limited. And you're unable to identify them. Is it worse, worth the risk to taste them? Yeah. Taste the herbs. First your stomach rumbles, then you taste, by, taste bile. You're overwhelmed by a wave of nausea. Your bowels burn as though you just swallowed a mouthful of white hot flame. Nope. That's enough experimentation for today. Ah, uh, what a poo! A goat. Oh, that's new as well. You enter a cave. Numerous tunnels lead deeper into the mountain. You hear a noise coming from one of the tunnels. It sounds like frantic bleating of a goat in distress. This is the one with the cat. I have to follow. I have to save the goat. Fuck nature. I saved the goat. Goat! You then further into the system of caves, following the sound of bleating all the while, left, right, straight ahead, left again. After a longer passage of walking straight ahead, you reach another cave. Just when you think you are finally approaching a destination, you realize that you've gone in a circle, and you are now back at the entrance. The bleating has also stopped. After a while, you hear bleating again. This time it sounds even louder and more frantic. It's a demon goat. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Jesus, that was loud in my ear. Holy crap. The sound is heartbreaking. Unable... <laughs> that wasn't heartbreaking. It was just... <laughs> Unable to ignore it, you rush back into the labyrinth of caves. You stumble through the tunnels, losing all, all track of time. And you find it under an expand, you find it. Just as you thought, a goat. Its hind legs are stuck in a narrow fissure. And it's it is trying in vain to free itself. Oh my god, text. You gingerly approach the animal and attempt to soothe it. It seems to understand that you want and lets you touch it. With one swift tug, you free the goat from the fissure. It rears up for a split second and quickly trots away from you, disappearing into one of the nearby tunnels. As you also prepare to head out, you gaze <laughs> Your gaze briefly drifts back to the fissure in the ground, and something catches your eye. You realize that the goat was also... What was the goat so interested in? What the goat was so... In, whatever. 
There are some delicious looking herbs growing down in the hidden depths of the fissure. More herbs, hell yeah. More white up flame. Cool herbs. You hastily tuck them into your pack. Herbs. Ooh, level up. Experience. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, we want that night travel. Ooh. Take it slow. Yes, please. Urgh. Boar. That's amazing. Save the goat every time. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Pitfall. In a deep pit, you discover the half-decayed carcass of a goat. No! <laughs> it must have fallen into a pit and have been and been gored by the sharpened stakes at the bottom. There's no doubt about it. This was a trap. Wow. It still is. Skin down into the pit. It looks like there's something pinned underneath the goat. Climb and skewer myself. Look around the edge. And just jump in. Hell yeah. You sit on the edge of the pit and carefully lower yourself until you feel firm ground under your feet. Breathing through your mouth, you drag the carcass slightly to the side. Only then you realize that the goat is wearing a harness, the kind you would use if find on pack animals. Search the saddlebags, find some equipment. Your sadness over the goat's fate gives way to gratitude, tinged with joy. Ah, baby. Oh, nice. That's what I want. Hell yeah. Love this game already. Some crampons for my feetsies. Uh, I don't know when the stone snow well <laughs> snow starts there, but still. It's fine. Ego gives me sanity, good job, Ego. All I need is some buddy time because it's cold. Airplane, we've seen this before. Push the snow aside, expose the metallic surface. Uh, you found the wing of a downed airplane. Uh, examine. Deep deeper. Deep deep. You are engrossed in your work when, out of the corner of your eyes, spot a bill billowing cloud of snow coming towards you. You quickly dive into the recess of the rock. Seconds later, tons of snow and ice come thundering down above you. You are plunged into darkness. Cold seeps into your bones and you gasp for air. Slowly you start to dig calmly carefully and to burst through the lungs of the mental. Hell yeah, the lungs of the mental. Oh, that's whatever. Oxygen. Warm thoughts. Okay. I we just go straight ahead and get that. Get that. Oot. Hold on. Oh, do I really have to go on this? Jesus. Jesus! a lot of climbing. Also, if I do that and that... Well, I mean, I can get that by going back. Let's first get this. Yeah. Egrok. Bear trap. Stand under the skeleton of an old tree. It's exposed roots from a hollow, hollow that seems to lead deep into the earth. Someone has set traps in front of it. Maybe they hit something in the hole? Why would they hit, hide something? Oh well. It's a, it's, it says it's a bear trap. There's not gonna be much. Yeah, look at that. 
Use a thick branch to trigger the mechanism of, on all the traps, making it safe for you to reach the hollow in the re tree's roots. Pull out a crate, but it's empty. No. Whatever, bruh. Whatever. I'm gonna grab that, that, and then come back for Dave. And... No. Grab the cave first. Yeah. There's nothing here. Cave! I lose somebody temperature, and that's fine. I'll gain that back when I wake up. God damn it, piece of shit mountain hair. Breaks my leg. Try it. Warmth. What a terrain. Saddlebag. A large leather saddlebag laying on the ground. Like next to it, right next to it, you discover faded hoof prints. Find some herbs in the saddlebag. Thank you, Yeti. I'm not going back for that. The gold man of the mountain. Oh, that's a dead end. Great. What a waste. Oh well. Herb garden. That's new. Wow, a lot of new events in this one. We discover a narrow strip of plants concealed behind towering rocks. It turns out to be two neatly planted rows of herbs. Oh, two, not two. Okay. You marvel at how tidy it looks. Did someone try to cultivate this frozen landscape? Pluck some. Take as much as you can. I don't need them, but I want the XP, and th these probably give some XP, right? So let's pluck some. Yeah. Cautiously enter the herb garden and insect the plants. Most of them have been destroyed by frost. Disappointed, you turn to leave. When a little patch of vibrant green catches your eye, and full of herbs survive the frost, you hastily tuck the edible ones into your pack. Herbs. Ah. Oh, that's a nice combo. Right there. Warm thoughts, stay warm. Yes, please. That's all we need in this one. We need to stay warm, people. Oh boy. That's a lot of heat. Alright, I have like two thermoses. I'm gonna check on my cat while we climb. Cat said some things I can't argue with because I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know cat. Okay, so I guess we reached this without any incidents. Holy shit! Environment and equipment. Why did that pop up? What proficiency and skills? Oh, I guess my cursor is on the top right corner, huh? That's... Oh no, it's here. Anyways, so there's the chest alone. 
Not going back for those. Then again, what if I want to go back for it? No, that's a no. Alright, so if I go for the chest, where is that? There. That's not much. And if I want to come back, that's a lot. I don't know what's over there. I don't see a lot. I however see that. And I conquer! I'll suck my dick. Ah! No, don't fucking move. Only clicked once, damn it. Snow, snow, rock, rock. Da -da -da. Look at that, gaining back the body temperature. Slowly. Are you stupid? Wanted to just go on this. Perilous ice. Great. I lost a lot of temperature. That's great. Love it. Shooting star. Sanity. Oh, this ain't good. Jump! Ah, what is that? Heaven. Holy shit. Mountain's gonna defeat my ass. I'm gonna die. Isn't there another thing here? But we're not gonna go for that thing. Go down this side. Go down the side and guess we're gonna freeze to death. That's what I like. Whoops, whatever. Oh, there we go. There was something. Herbalist! Why is... everything is an herb? What the fuck? On a vegetated rocky plateau, he spotted a hun hunched old woman searching amongst the craggy rocks for edible plants and berries. Oh, hold on. She notices you, she smiles and holds out some herbs. Ugh, I don't need your fucking herbs. You old hag. I have like seven million herbs. A tea, bitch. Help the vamin. I don't help, woman. <laughs> of course we help. Climb and search the earth for herbs as well. Crawl around, you find nothing edible. Apologize and you leave. Fucking great. What is this? Herb collection? I'm gonna freeze to death with a bunch of herbs. Great. Great, great. Better be some edibles. Or drinkables, rather. I have a lot of edibles. Drug plants. Uh. 
Ugh. Control center. That's more herbs! Or, or nothing, because, yeah. Because the cat chased us away. Oh, a cave, nice. I'm freezing! Oh, look at that! You lick the herbs with the tip of your tongue, it tastes strangely bitter but also delicious. Boom! Heat! Oh, yeah! Oh, lovely warm feeling! Spreads through your body. More. The blue blossom literally melts in your mouth. You try to identify the flavor. A hint of thyme, perhaps? I love thyme! But there are other notes as well. Subtle but refreshing and aromatic. Mmm! Oxygen and XP. Your throat feels wonderfully clear. I'm okay with this. I don't wanna I don't wanna be like, oh the next one makes you throw up for two hours straight and you just lose everything. No. I should do intense movement to get that heat back, but thanks for the thingy, I don't need to do that. I'm gonna do the kick it slow too. That's a good one. I'm gonna beeline it for that cave and sleep in it. Sleep in it for good feelings. Should have went around. Oh, that's... There's a tree on it, so I can't go on it. Wow, great. <laughs> this character hates trees. Cave. With smell? Hell yeah. Love smell. Smell gives me XP. Oh, body temperature. Oh, so I have some apple. Some apple. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh Jesus Christ. How the fuck do I go up there? I kind of want to be greedy and uh, grab that chest and the two things over there and then come back. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, look at that. That's not even bad. Uh, go over there. Try to climb a little higher and come back for the... Uh, well, I'm not gonna get the sun thing. Trapped! My dick! Uh, I'll rather take the energy. Because I'm gonna get it back by touching this thing. Well, most of it. Because if, if I went with time, then I wouldn't have this couple hours before it gets cold, so... I'd rather have the, the temperature. Mysterious- oh goddamn fucking cable though. Eat it. What happens if I just pull on it? I mean, <clears throat> don't take it out of context. Feel a resistance, tug again. You did it, the cable comes loose. You pull and pull and then finally a bag of full of provisions lands in your hands. No idea what- who tied this to the end of the cable or why, but you will take it. Works for me, bruh. Big boy level up. Fast movement, reduce time cost, interesting. Ah, oh, energy cost, so that the heavy breathing stuff is not gonna be that bad. Oh, there's a cave, we can sleep in that. And then climb a little higher. La la la, la la la. There. Got that. Climb up there. Yeah, I could do that with the big drop and the big climb, but I'm not gonna... After that cave, we're just gonna go up. So, let's do this. Ah, uh, can I, like... That would be 16.5. 20. It only costs three hours. 
does cost a lot more. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter. We're going for a cave anyways, and we can sleep in that, so it's fine. We're going the quick and tiring route. Oot. Would have made it a little easier, but oh well. Shrine for sanity, yes, please. That's good. Although I have like six flowers or something. Oh, darkness! Oh no, it's the gold again. And the gold will give us... What was it last time? Herbs? Yeah, how about... We sleep through the cold night. Yeah. How about fuck the goat this time? Uh, let's pretend it's not there. It's gonna freeze to death, but that's not my problem. Hmm. This would be 26.5. 25. Sure. Look at that. A nice clear weather. Fuck you. Big fast. Energy is not as important as heat. I have a tent, I have canned food. It's fine. Crystalline frost. Oh, the thing where we just kill it. Alright. Oh no, it melted forever. It's alright. Sleep into the night. That's yeah, fine. Could have done a short sleep, but that would have left me right at the start of the night time. It's better to say. Oh, fuck that. I don't want to take that. 44. 47, but if I get to 44, after that I need to climb higher. Skipping that. I'm skipping this too, because it would have taken a lot out of the energy too much. Oh, it could have went around here, but that's alright. I can't see. That's not that much. It's 18, 19. If you go down and then up. It's fine. Oh, I want to trade away my herbs. Attack! Blood curdling scream rends the air. You stop the brockies and. Oh, yeah. Someone is getting attacked by a. Cougar, help the hunter take the pack. Ah! But he's flooded with endorphins, yeah. Climbing rope? Or sanity and sanity gain. This gives more XP and 
honestly, sanity is not an issue. I can refill it from zero and then something. So yeah, climbing rope is nice. I guess. Bloop. Immediately consume a charge. I don't know why I went over there. Oh <laughs> well. Oh, relay station. Yay. A lot of XP. Wait, stop. Stop. Let's level up. Warm thoughts too. Trade. Find a fur pouch hanging from a branch of a skeleton of a tree. You stop. It looks as though someone has placed it there on purpose. As you open the pouch, you discover an, on an oxygen bottle inside. An offering? Something tells you that you shouldn't just take. An oxygen thingy, huh? <clears throat> Yoing! Oh wow, oh wow. Where's the summit? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, it's basically going into a dead end here. There's a cave. Twenty one. Pretty ass. But then to go over here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look at that. Suddenly I can see. Ah. Shrine. Empty shrine. That was kind of a waste, because I plan on sleeping in this cave, but whatever. Wooden bridge. Step on it. Yeah, it gives me a tent. Great. Fuck you. Ah. Wake up my sanity! Yeah. <sighs> oh shit. Do I need this? I don't need this. Then again, where's the next? Where's the next cave? Fuck. Hello, our heat is okay. Let's do a brief. Yeah, sleep into the night a little bit. Don't lose as much heat during the night then. Hmm. And there's a cave down there. Oh my god, it came such a long way. Chest, cave, something. Shrine, chest, chest, chest. Actually, that's not a chest, that's a sun and a event. Or. Chest, sun, chest, something, a bunch of stuff, but that's, the, that's another dead end, so I would have to go there and then back. But I like the sound of that. We're going to do that. 
We're doing a serpentine. Serpent. Serpentine? Serpent. 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 Crisscrossing this frozen river. River. Although I should take that first. And walk my ass over there. That's a lot of heat loss. Oof. Screw it. We're leaving that one. If I go back around and feel like descending to these, I might get it, although that's a big drop. Yeah, that's just gonna be stay there. Here. Stop. Mm It's a nice map though. I like this whole the river came down and then all froze over. Nice. Cage. Under a tarp you discover a large empty cage. Tufts of brownish fur stuck between the bars. Enter the cage. Why would... Wh why? What's the point? I will though. Find a backpack full of equipment in the corner. Okay. Ooh, what's that? Fire charm. <gasps> These are the things that go in the thing. Whoa. Stuff that goes there. What what they do? Plus three body temperature when moving and resting, but less sanity. I can have two of them. This is perfect. Body temperature? Not a problem anymore. Sanity? Still have plans. Love it. Game just became easy. Yeah. Again, body temperature even at night. Yeah, yeah. Super cool. Nice melody. I guess explore the mountain for more XP. Now I can just walk all over the place because I don't need to hurry for for next cave and next cave and stuff such. And just do whatever. Follow the light for some sanity. Uh, sleep. Oh, but I lose sanity. Constantly. How can you lose sanity while sleeping? What? Shouldn't you gain some? Like, there's a reason why people say, ah, you're feeling feeling sad, just sleep sleep on it, sleep it off, you know? Sleeping house with a lot of mental fatigue. Ah, well. Buried, take the tea. Take the tea and leave the rest. Isn't there something else too? Oh, there's the cave, but... Greed! Let's go. I want all these ovens for the XP. And I have the climbing gear, so... Well, not anymore. That goes away so fast. It's such a useless shit. Big fast? Oh, yeah. Now, sanity is an important thing. I can refill it, but... I don't want to constantly... Chomp down on plants, because that... Gives a health damage. Coins. Nearby an abandoned camp, you find some vacuum filled with tea. A 
nothing useful. Except a lot of XP. Oh. Dead deer, cut it open. Yeah, this character is good with that. Eat the deer plants. <laughs> Tasty deer plants. Stay warm. Honestly, if I take the under the stars and the stay warm enough, then I don't need I won't need the fire charm. Let's let's see, do I need the oh I can't really take it off. I mean I would have to eat something. I would rather just you know. Saint Bernard, what the hell is it doing here? Is that its tongue or is that some kind of is that an argon crystal? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> you suddenly hear a loud bark behind you. You spin around to see a Saint Bernard bounding toward you, panting, its tongue lolling. As it obediently sits at your feet, you notice a harness on its back. There's a bag strapped to it. There's a steel. Dog waits patiently as you search the bag. You find equipment inside. It's up at 5,000 meters. This dog is... a beast. Holy crap! Dog! Amazing. Bootsies. Nah, it's shit boots. And the tea I don't need. Thanks. Shooting star. That's the edge of the map, so now I'm gonna go zigzag my ass back towards that way. Oh, this is a dead end. I can't go up here. <laughs> Cave. Explore the fault to use my flashlight. Ooh, oh wow, this is a good cap. High quality warm cap, nice. What does it do? Plus one body temperature, look at that. I won't need this. Look at that, it has a little thingy. Ah, I done sleep easy, just, just, just briefly, yeah. Look at that. It's... So, yeah, there's literally no way for me to go up here. Oh, I mean, there are big climbs and then I can, you know, shortcut. But I want all of those things over in the distance. That, that. Uh, that. Not a lot of things I see. This thing down here should be the first. But I have to do this. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of energy. Oh. This takes the most of it. Look at, look, look, look at the chunk that's gonna go away. Whaff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, long climbs are devastating. You want to avoid them if you can. But if you can't, well, it's too bad. Cave, okay, follow the wind. Oh, I almost got stabbed, but. Oh, look at that. I will have give some sanity back as well, so it's fine. Ah, uh, controlled breathing, I guess. So we don't need to care about the death zone too much. Okay. 
How do I? What the fuck? I can't even see how I get back there. At a dead end. Good. Not a big climb. That's all right. Get out of here. Spiders, yes, please. Yum. Tasty spiders. Wait, that's before I crossed the river. Wow, I didn't see that. Ice fall. Okay, so last time I got stabbed in the head. Because I ch What did I check? I think I checked the slope. Go to the... Go to the camp. Cross the camp, ice crunches. Every step could be your last. Close your eyes. Leech your go go. Camp abandoned. Some equipment, though. It's snow! Um... I have good, uh, like I have like a 15% reduction on snow, so I'm gonna keep the ice one. It's fine. Some survey. Would go back for that one event right there. That's where that's where I crossed. I didn't see that. It's in its own little ice drooping. Um, well, I guess I'm going back for the chest. They're using my climbers to go for the okay, okay. zigzag my ass over there. Somehow. Yeah. God damn it. Because now time doesn't matter because because the temperature is fixed. I could unequip the charm to see what happens at night. Actually, I will do that. So I still lose some at night. 0 0.1. I mean, sanity is still okay. I still have... Still have a hundred. Yeah, sure. Fire charm can stay. Stone circle. Examine. Get stuff. Oh, what the hell? Snow boots. High quality. Oh. Oh, that's some nice stuff. I don't need it. I want to keep the ice one. Although, here's the thing, it's mostly snow and stone. The ice is basically just the river, but you know what? I don't care. I made my choice. I have to live with it. Live with the, fa live with the fact that I made the wrong choice. Every time. Yes. Uh, I am getting low on health.
Ah, damn gold. Get out of here. What I could do is I could unequip the charm during the day and put it back on. At, or, yeah. Because during the day, the temperature is fine. And this way I don't lose as much sanity as I would with this thing. This would be 8.2 sanity like. And only 6.1 like this. And you might think that's not a lot. But I only have a hundred, so... Sorry. Can I go up there from here? See, there's a lot of snow, but but it's fine. It's barely anything. Encounter here. Here's your tea. Bye. I want that back later. Later, man. Later. Don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a chest. All right. I mean, temp body temperature is okay. We don't need that thing by a charm. Plus I can, I think I still have one, uh, one thoughts, one, or something else that gives heat, so. Unknown fruit, hell yeah. Yes, energy fruit. Anything in there? No. Okay. Look at that summit is so close. Whoa, what are these goddamn things? Ah, the tea! The tea comes back with some plant, a torch, or... The... I don't need the torch, and I don't need the plant. I mean, I could eat the plant. But my health is kind of poopy. I'm just gonna take it. Thank you. Now look, another stay warm when moving. So that's an extra 0 0.5, so yeah. We don't need that charm anymore. Sanity without losing health. Um, yeah, and she's fine. Oh no, my fucking hands. They bleeding. What am I to do? Fog bank. You reach an expensive plateau. A thick fog bank hangs over a depression in the rock. You stare into the grey mass for a while, wondering if it's concealing something. You find it odd that the fog doesn't seem to be dissipating or spreading at all. And then you take out the fog loan. I walk into the fog like a badass, look around the fog. I just leave the fog alone because it's might be poisonous gas. Look around the fog. Tiptoe around the edge of the fog bank. You hear a muffled hammering and rattling. It's barely audible. Then it stopped. What was it? You strain your ears to listen. Silence. It's a fog machine. <laughs> just as you are beginning to wonder if you imagine the noise, it starts up again. It's coming from the fog bank. It sounds metallic. It's the same goddamn thing that comes from the uh, dark cave. You walk away, you turn to walk away so you discover a box, half hidden in the fog, you pull it out. Find provisions. But I didn't. So someone fucked up when they scripted that. That's okay. I mean, my inventory is full. I could have used, like, gloves or something. Oh well. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm going to leave these alone. These five things. I don't know if that's impassable or not, but it looks kind of impassable. Oh, it's not. Okay. Ah. What's... I'm back. Everything is fine. What the hell? Why? Why? What? What is? What is happening to this goddamn GPS system? Why don't you just? I don't know. Take the route. It's best. Or what the fuck? See, boom, immediately makes it. Level 10 experience points. Yes. Jesus. Oh, I guess I can consume fine. Little better, I guess. Yeehaw. Look at that, body temperature just climbs back up. So yeah, we don't need the uh, charm anymore. But that's an interesting thing. So apparently these are these uh, mixed items. Has a positive, has a negative. That's fine. Canyon. Oh, I see. Don't go over here. 
Like I need to do a little detour for 9.5, or I can do this for 12.1. Are you stupid video game? Why do you not know what's smarter? I mean, I, it takes longer, of course, but not by much. Like an extra half an hour, hour. I don't. I didn't even check. Cause it doesn't matter. All that matters is energy and then sanity. Oh, I still have the goddamn injured hand, that's why, okay. Jump it! Pussy! Ah! I guess I survived, that's fine. Spiders, yes please. Ooh, a helmet! <laughs> I don't need it. Um... Yeah, so I... I plan on leaving dudes and just going for... Although, I could survey the area. Just... There's a lot more stuff there. I'm gonna go for that. Ah, uh, okay. Look at that, a lot less. I can actually make it there easy. Journalist doesn't need to eat. Ever. Hmm. myself up that's pretty important right now ruin station search it oh well okay so going there I would have to go around I'm gonna leave it then Screw it, just go. Just go, Iron Man. Actually, stop, 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 stop. I have that. Ice fall. Oh shit, I don't have enough energy for quick. Ah. Uh, yikes. No, oh, no, I have to make it, but I can't. Ah. Uh, I had to eat my soup. What? Bullshit. Can I min-max this somehow? Oh yeah, I can. Oh shit. Hmm, it's actually better like this. Oh, these are all deep snow, that's fine. And I didn't take the snow stuff, haha! <laughs> Hmm. 
There we go. All right. All right, that's better. If I avoided the deep snow, which I can do here as well, I don't need to go on those. Oh. There you go. I'm nice. Oh, look at that, something. A cave! And another thing. Oh, yeah, those two. I didn't even see that cave, so that's perfect. Hot spring! Steaming hot water bubbles out of a crack in the rock into a stingy basin below. Dip your fingertips into the milky pool. I wouldn't. It feels warm and soothing. A hot spring? You didn't expect to find any volcanic activity on the island, but then this whole rain is full of surprising and inexplicable phenomena. You already found the warm spot, so... I mean... Maybe the occupiers kept the island a secret, in secret, a secret in order to exploit its unique properties? Why would they do that? Just normally, you find a hot spring high in the mountains, you make it into a goddamn tourist thing. Attraction. Maybe they themselves are responsible for these phenomena. You don't have the answers to any of these questions. You have to push onward to scale the summit. That's why you're here. All the puzzle pieces will come together once you're up there. You're sure of it. But first, you want to stop for a rest. You can't resist the chance to take a hot bath. And then get out and freeze to death. Yeah. Hot bath. Bethany's hot. Heart of the Explorer, thoroughly investigate, search through. I'm losing oxygen. Oh, Jesus. Just quickly. What the hell is that? Safety rope! Okay. What are you doing? Oh, that's the only way down? I mean, I guess I can... This way. 30. Yeah. I could use the safety rope. Nah. Bolt, flashlight, stack. This would take 46.8. This would take 50. But if I do this, I don't have to backtrack. If I do this way, get here, but then I have to go back. If I do it like this, I get to continue. The energy is not that big of a deal. Injured mountaineer. Try to help. I'm sorry. You're all the stranger into the recovery position and speak to him in a soothing voice. Despite your best efforts, he makes no sound and does not move. Cannot help him. Alright. Why is it not giving me the good stuff? Gonna do the one more push. We need that oxygen. Ah, oh, look, the Yeti. Ugh. 
climb. Travis isn't very deep. Climb down effortlessly. It's not. It is not a giant that you find, but a woman's corpse. Move closer and look into the two dark, empty eye sockets. What happened to her eyeballs? Could animals have eaten them? Search her torn anorak and find an identity card from Research Institute for Zoology. And some spaghetti! Yeah, spaghetti! Oh look, backpack. Oh, it's just the goddamn... Drunk person. Oh, we found him! This time we found him. Stranger takes the backpack and reaches inside the room and around. Pull out the kind of food they offer you. You aren't sure you want to accept it. If you don't, you get sanity. If you do, you get food. No food means more XP. And we don't really care about the energy because we have two tens, so we're not going to take it. Take the sanity buff. That's nice. For an entire day. Yeah. Plus, since I took one more push, uh, whatever that is, or yeah, it's less than it per hour for the rest of the mission. So, for a little bit, this counteracts that of oh, 24 hours. Not for long. Do I want these two things? Do I just want my treasure chest? Can't really see stuff underneath. Oh, that's close by. Oh, summit is close. I'm gonna get the chest. Safety rope. Safety rope. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is right here, so might as well. Actually... Let's take both. They're right here. I'll take that on the way back. Cave! Follow the smell. Nothing. A nice... Nice lake. Ooh, look at that. A brief sleep is enough, because I will get the rest with the uh, take it slow wake up. Eh, well. At four probably won't be too bad. Could have gotten those extra four if I slept longer, but that's alright. Oh no, spots! Swarm of flies. Flies? At 6,304 meters? I beg to differ. I don't think flies would come up this high, but... You know what? I'm gonna check that on Google. I'm gonna... I'm gonna look... look it up. Yeah. I'm gonna Google this. Uh... Attitude... For flies. Some flies and the butterflies have been seen flying at 6,000 meters. Well, <laughs> that will teach me. <laughs> but this is a 2016 post. As a 2022 post, 6,000 feet. Okay, what? So, the 2016 one says 6,000 meters, which is 19,685 feet. And then this shitty-ass 2022 post is like, 
Ah, oh, 6,000 feet into the atmosphere. Haha, <laughs> but that's rare. So I'm guessing they copied the old post, but they fucked up and they put feet instead of meters. Then again, I don't know who to believe. Uh, Bugunderglass.com or the cold wire? Let's, let's look for more, uh, more clues. How high can insects fly? Lifescience.com. That's a third source. It's another 2016 source, but it's July and not August. It's even before. Bird at 11,000 meters. Locusts at 4,500 meters. Um, true bugs. Stoneflies, mayflies, and kettle caddyflies at 5,000. Flies and butterflies at 6,000. Okay, so I'm guessing the 6,000 meter is the correct and not that thick 6,000 feet. So the cold wire, uh, you're just a bunch of hacks. There, I called them out. Oh, go spread hate speech. No, don't do that. <laughs> Bad. What's a true bug? <laughs> oh! These, these are cute. The stink bugs. But not all of them are the stink bugs. They are this one. Oh, this one looks cute. Most of them are the, ug the ugly ass stink bugs. I mean, they're not ugly, they're just stinky. Fuck them. So I guess the flies can be true here. Damn, son. A buzzing sounds unusually loud and strange to you, heart pounding. You peer over the edge of the trench. At the bottom, you see a pile of human corpses intertwined, their faces covered in black spots. Plague! I'm not touching that. Keep my distance and look around. Spots on the faces of those corpses are very strange. You'd better not get too close. You find the bag hidden in some shrubbery a little way off from the trench. Must have belonged to one of the dead people. There are a few provisions inside. You ignore the pangs. Your pangs of guilt. Pang? Let's attack the provisions. I got some tea. What's a pang? Like a penguin. <laughs> got it for short. My guilty penguin. Oh, pain. Oh. Oh, suffering. Oh, you're suffering from guilt. Oh, no. What am I gonna do? The tea. It's a guilt tea. Ah! <laughs> yeah, icicles. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> Guilty. Oh. Damn. Rock crevice. In a deep crevice in the rock, hidden behind some shrubbery, you find a fur pouch. Looks like it might have belonged to a hunter. Pick it. You're in luck! Pouch has murder gun. Calls for help. You can try it. Help me! Mysterious stranger. Out of nowhere, a stranger suddenly appears. He's clad in furs and his face, just visible amidst his heavy garments, looks so sallow. Sa Man, words. What the fuck is sallow? I gotta know. Oh, yellow. Okay. Or just, you know, uh, pale. It's an Asian. I mean, uh, an Inuit. I mean, yay. Help. As you approach, he proffers a small. <laughs> what the fuck is proffers? What is this? An English, a British game? Proffer or proffel? Pro pro truffle? Pro prefer? Prefer? Oh my god! Ah, uh, offer, but with a P. <laughs> with a PR. 
for offers. Oh wow. Small parcel wrapped in leather. Open the parcel. It's a heart! You find provisions inside. You look up at thanks to Sanger, but he has vanished. Oh my god. <sighs> I ate them. I ate them all. <laughs> Thank you, stranger. Mighty nice of you. The crow says, Your upper arm starts to itch intensely. You scratch, but it only gets worse. As you peel back your clothing to examine the itchy spot, the blood drains from your face. A dark red fissure is eating its way deep into your skin. Just like the corpses in the trench. You feel faint with terror. Oh my god, I didn't even get close! Goddamn bag was infected. I'm gonna lose an arm. I just used my bandage. Oh. Remove the skin. Ignore the itch. It's fine, just don't look at it. <laughs> Treat the skin. Oh, I have plants. Oh my god, yes, treat it. Sprinkle herbs into the fissure and bind your arm. And with clean bandages. I didn't have bandages, though. What the hell? That's lies. You know that if you actually have contracted flesh-eating bacteria, herbal remedies won't make a bit of difference. That you're trying not to panic. You're not living in a horror movie after all. Thankfully, the itching quickly begins to subside. You continue your journey. Alright, I gained sanity and... Oh my god, I'm... Oh, what the hell? 13. Thirteen. I'll get that XP. Energy bank. Up. Torches. Torches on the dynamite stuff. What if I just climb over the... Just quickly. Then again, yeah, let's get the torches. Yeah, torches! Woo <laughs> Intense movement, fresh air. Do the stuff. Oh, look at all that light I have now. Rope. Ah. That rope was a waste. Wake up, stranger. Yay, nothing happened. Well, I guess I'll sleep next to you, stranger. Hell yeah. Gloves, yes. Basic ass climbing gloves, but still. Oh god, it all froze. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. The game doesn't like going into the caves, but it still does it. Oh, big climbs. Big climbs, Mr. Potter. Hmm. Falling guys. Ah, my head! Oh shit. Ooh. My experience gain. I got severe brain injury. Wow.
Encounter a mountaineer sitting listlessly. Oh, this guy. Give him an oxygen bottle. Mountaineer gets up slowly. He bows and starts to carefully climb down the mountain. I saved a life today. Because I'm awesome. Oh, some water. Ooh. Ding. Fire pit gives me warmth, I guess. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Sanity would have been nice. Alright. Chest and then basically I mean I can go for that chest maybe but honestly it's home stretch well not really but oh well hey Anthony, you helped earlier, catches up with you. But I'm going up and he started climbing down. Some herbs, yeah. Eat the herbs and feel strange return to your body. Anthony nods and leaves without a word. Thank you. Those weren't moon herbs then, because they gave me health. What a nice dude. Dig up that plaque. Ooh, energy cost. Listen. Hell yeah. Look at that. I can min max my energy costs. I got super snowshoes. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Can't go up to the dildo from here. Limestone cave. Enter an expensive cave. Can't the stalactites? Oh, this thing. Yeah, just break them. Oh my god, I can't see! Ah, it's a nuclear explosion. Oh my god. This is actually really bad. Look up. It's fine. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. Reach the dildo. Reach it. That's not a dildo. Initials. Your heart races as you haul yourself up to the summit. You did it, finally. You immediately take a look at the structure. A steel mast rises into the sky, and metal wire supports the large struts that sprout from either side of it. It's definitely an antenna. Eh... Uh, 5G. <laughs> you move closer, taking out the amulet. Which one? Oh wait, I left the fire one. The stone in your hand pulses strongly, evenly. The wires on the mast begin to vibrate, and you hear a humming sound. It's quiet at first, but then starts growing louder and louder. It seems the young woman was correct, at least about the radiation. It's strong up here, but it is strong. But is it strong enough to give you lung cancer? Probably. Deep in thought, you earn. You lean against the mast. Then you notice a few strange not notches. One of, one, notches. One of the, on one of the metal struts. What? Thing. Missing a word. 
Scrape away the ice. No, those aren't notches. They are letters. People have carved their initials into the steel. You gasp in surprise when you see your name right there alongside the others. We are not the first of ourselves to come here. What does it mean? Why can't you remember reaching the summit before? We are part of the science team. This whole thing is getting out of control. You have to get back and confront the mysterious stranger. Stranger danger? Oh, my. <laughs> That's far. What the fuck? Ah. Mysterious stranger. Took me an hour and 40 minutes to get up here. Now for an hour and 40 minutes to get down on the other side? Hell yeah. <laughs> this game it takes a long time. Yes. That's alright. It didn't actually feel like it took that long. Alright, so that's kind of no. Gotta go that way. And then across. Jesus. Jesus Christ! And the Argonauts. <laughs> Jesus and the Argonauts. <laughs> oh no, I already got snow blind fever. It's not a thing, but I got it. Although it looks like the oxygen is perfectly fine now. Yeah, it's barely going down. Pretty cool. Saddlebag, take it. That was a weird noise. Um, brah. 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 I can't. Brah. I don't need it. Brah. I am leaving behind the tent. Uh, that hurts. Because what if I... What, if, what am I if not a tent hoarder? I am no one. Fragile ice. You reach the shore of a frozen mountain lake. On the embankment, you find the rem what remains of a camp. You take a look around, but there's nothing useful in sight. Or is there? Dun dun dun. Hello. It's Vesos. Michael here. <laughs> Just a few yards from you on the on the sheet of ice. You spot some unopened canned food. Do you want to retrieve it? Yeah. Creak as you set foot on the ice, find cracks from form beneath your boots, spreading in the spider web across the ice. Maybe get down your, your goddamn belly and just scooch. Don't walk. Scooch! Distribute your body weight. Maybe leave your bag behind while you scooch across and scooch back with the can on your head or something under your head or something. And then pick up your. Like, come on! Walking! <laughs> Go for it. What's the worst that can happen? We die? Haha! <laughs> Creaking grows louder and louder the closer you get to the canned food, and the cracks grow wider. You could fall through the ice any second. So? You made it! You collapse onto the embankment and stow the canned food in your pack. That's gonna taste good! Ooh, double! Mm, double food, yeah, boy. Intense movement, fresh air, explore the mound. Meh. Holy poopy. How do I get down from here? I guess that's how. Let's go. Wait. I can work with that. Ah! Oh, no! 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 Ooh! Ooh! I almost left these. Oh, wow! I'm glad I looked behind me. Some stuff. Costs a lot of energy. Shrine of energy? Yes. Tunnel. Flashlight. Profit! E. 
Um, sure. Yeah. Awesome. Actually, what if I get that and then come back? I would have to go come back from point on the same. Let's get that first and then we come back for the other stuff. My safety rope. Not even being used because this is not dangerous terrain. What a waste. Buried. Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on the mountain slide. There must have been an avalanche here recently. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on a vacuum cleaner. Oh, vacuum cleaner. Ah. Hasty. Oh! There's a cave. Ah, oh, there are a bunch of. The hidden stuff around, huh? Uh, they're not exactly hidden, but... Pick up! We're on a mountain! Ow! Oh. Just watch him. You don't engage with retardation. <laughs> okay, this. Uh, I could go for that. Mm. Mean. Uh, I mean, there are multiple things over there. At least three. There's also this goddamn. Oh, what the? This tall part with those three things. Yeah, I want. I need. I can get. Yes. Yes. We climb. Quick. Engage the safety. Ah, they don't have it. Wait a minute. I'm going on a lot of ice here. 23 21 What? What? This is ice I could min-max it Put on the ice one And put on the snow Put on the ice You know, I could I could min-max it I want going to Oh, it's 14. 13.9! Yeah! <laughs> Worth it! Point one. Hell yeah. It's all snow from here on out, so instead of 5.6. 9.2 actually. I'm gonna make it into 6.0. Hell yeah. Ooh. Awesome. Oh! 
hiding place. I'm just gonna smash my hand through it. It's fine. Ooh, bandages. Okay, okay. Shrine for health or warmth? I uh, don't really care. Happy flowers, yeah! by camp empty bottles search oxygen <sighs> tasty tasty canned oxygen oh god what the hell Procession. Several locals approach you with spades on their backs. They are carrying a long object wrapped in cloth. A procession. Listen to their monotonous, guttural singing, which they do not halt even when your eyes meet. Their otherworldly song is full of pain and sorrow. A what? A procession? Is it some kind of sad stuff? Oh. Oh, they just... Oh, it's a pride parade! Okay. <clears throat> you mean silent, you ass. Oh, never mind. Oh well, just watch the weirdos go and have their spade party in the snow, I guess. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, I don't judge. Uh, you know... What the hell is that green? Is that a graphical glitch, or is that... An Easter egg. A Tiberium. Who knows? Look at that. Just there. So oh, I left us that death zone. Nice. Ice fall. Just run. Oh. Shrine of Health. Oh, man. That's wicked. No idea what the hell it is. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. It looks like one of these tiles. These hexagons, oh, piton, yeah, that's so cool, man. Wicked. Buried. Teeth. Club. Glacial Lake. Run. Yeah. We ain't no yellow-bellied cowards running away from certain icy drowning. Ah, we embrace it. We like to icy drown. Okay, there's a big-ass hole in here. 
Actually, stop! What if I can't get off from here? Oh, I can, but it's gonna take me a little bit of energy. I wanna see where there are dead ends and such. Making a web. A web of intrigue. And now we're gonna look at it. Whoa! Alright. Looks like everything is accessible from everywhere. Good stuff. Oh, there are a bunch of stuff down there. First I'll climb this. I guess. I wanna go back down here. Instead of this cave, sleep it. Sniff it. I can go down there too. That's cool. God damn, rocky slope piece of shit. Ah, fuck. Eh, doesn't matter. Migratory birds. A flock of migratory birds flies over your head. You gawp incredulously. What? As the animals change formation and make shapes in the heavens. Migratory birds are extremely rare at these altitudes, but the sight of them warms your heart. As the birds slowly disappear over the horizon, you think about all the mysterious and inexplicable things you've encountered during your journey, like the spiders in the snow. Are they the result of natural phenomena? Are they anomalies? Or could the mysterious occupiers be behind them all? What occupiers? What? The natives? You still don't understand the spade people? What's happening here? Something inside you tells that you will find what you're looking for. The droids, I guess. I really don't like the timed stuff. Disembodied hand, oh no. You can see something sticking out of the snow a few feet ahead of you. As you approach, you feel a chill run down your spine. It's a human hand. The skin has gone grey and leathery. There's no sign of the rest of the body. Eat it. Search for the rest of the body. Examine this thing. Examine it. The hand is frozen stiff and strangely heavy. The bones protruding from the wrist are smooth and not splintered. Someone must have used a knife or so to sever the hand from the arm. The thought of the amputation makes you feel sick, you decide to move on before your mood gets any darker. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to see, some dis dismemberment, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's impassable? What? 
I want to touch these on the way down, so... I'm gonna go around them. Canyon! Rope across. Ah, my torso! Why? My torso abandoned me. Damn it, I got snowed. Try right, to save the fox. Eve, follow the light. Nice. Don't even need to see what it does. I know it's positive. I'm that awesome. Yeah. Torches. Let's see what happens if I just climb over the thingy. Every climb over the first skate, the feeling of foreboding comes over you. It doesn't matter how long the dynamite has been there, it could still explode if something hit it hard enough. Your heart beats out of control and you feel dizzy. You bump into a crate and are able to grab it just before it slams into the floor. No, it's not worth it. Better climb back and keep going. Law, so you pussy out. So there is no option of climb back and then just pack the crates. Or put them out of the way or something. No, you just, you just leave. Yellow belly bastard. Why is it yellow belly? Why not green bellied or purple bellied or something? Why is it yellow? Is it some kind of old racist thing? Oh. I want to go back for those things. Hmm. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. Oh, it's not even bad. Handless corpse. An indigenous man is sitting slumped against the rock face. He does not stir as you approach. As you get closer, you notice that his right hand is missing and the stump has been bandaged with stained rags. His eyes are wide and vacant. Must have died a lonely death. Very just strange. Off and puff as you blow him away. Woo. I found the owner of the hand. Wait, what do I have on? I stuff. Forgot to change it back to the snow one. Oh well. Oh, there's stuff there. Happy flowers, nice. Snow deposits, so what? Camp, search the camp. Flowers. So blind, shit. Ooh, corpses, nice. Some experience. <laughs> Why not? Claustrophobia. You discover an oxygen mask at the bottom of a very narrow and very steep crevasse. Squeeze into the crevasse and climb down. Retrieve it. Nope. Nope. Just Chuck Tester. Yeah. Wake up. We're in danger. Ah, my chest. I can sleep it off. It's fine. I got bashed in the nipples. Trade. Asshole wants tea. I have tea. If scanned food, a bottle of oxygen, a stick, give me food. Yeah. Nice. Nice and flush. 
Oh wait, I still have bandages. Wait, when did I get bandages? Whatever, dude. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Oh, I missed the cave! Well, that cannot be left alone. On second thought, it can be left alone. It's fine, we don't need it. That cave is an asshole. It's not a real cave, it's a bum hole. Just there. To make us suffer. I don't take kindly to bum hole caves, you know. In the cave. A lot of heavy boots here. Escape the mountain. Scan the mountain. Two hours. Almost there. Injured. He just died. Find out what's wrong with him. What's wrong with you, man? It took me five hours to talk to him. Uh, six hours, sorry. Look at that stranger who keeps grabbing his shoulder. You're sure that he has dislocated it. You gesture to him, hold out his hand to you. You pull it with a jerk. He screams! And there's silence. A few seconds later, the stranger is beaming at you. That seems to have done the trick. He hands you a gift in thanks. The brains of a wolf. Oh. Whoa! High quality crampons! I will cramp them on right now. Ooh! Damn, son. At the very end, where we don't even have ice anymore. Actually... Put the snow stuff on. The snow, but I don't really see any ice anymore. <laughs> Very good timing. Ooh, tasty spiders. Oh, look, shitty snow boots. Lol. Get out of here. Shrine of energy. The sanity still holds. It's very nice. Ooh, sanity comet. Very loud sanity comet. Okay, out crop. Get into it. Get into the. Get reach, reach. Reach, yes! Oh, it fell. That's alright, it gives a nice amount of XP. And the energy, guess what? It's already. Bam! Mostly back. Shooting. Shooting stars. Of sanity. Sanity star. Sanity star online. Ha! Deep snow. Go around it. Injured. Oh my god, again? <sighs> That's the stuff. Claustrophobia. Mm, I mean, we could try to level up again. Keep trying. Keep trying to level up. Come on. Yeah, oxygen mask. Woo. I don't need it. Yeah. Level 15! Holy crap! I need 500 minus 8 XP. Follow the bleating goat. Keep searching for the goat. Oh my god, I'm freezing over. Help the goat! Oh! Baby! The long sleep.
to level up. I'm gonna get all the upgrades. All of them. I left that one cave back there, the SO cave. <laughs> That's fine. Unbeatable journalist. Rough stone, whatever. It is. I haven't used my tents, not once. Like... Ah, Wolf's head. Taste it. Ooh, protective helmet. High quality. That's nice. Like I started with this tent, and then it doubled. And then it almost tripled. But... Never even used it. I should really not take the tent anymore. But watch, as soon as they don't take the tent, I'm gonna need it. It's so stupid. I'm gonna yoink that too. Wait, hold on. We might need the tent. Nope. I lied. We don't need no filthy tents. A dangerous terrain. I could farm this. Okay, slope. Let's go. Oh, I could farm this. Oh, yes. Goat! At the puma, wait. You discovered a goat on a plateau. Close by is a puma, hiding in the shadows and waiting for the right moment to attack. Fuck the puma. Have to go. Grab a stone and throw it hard at the puma. But you just miss. Startled, the puma turns away from the goat and charges you. That sucks. You just barely manage to get away your shock and grab a fallen branch as the puma tackles you to the ground. Adrenaline courses through your veins. I'm gonna die. No, goat, please summon Satan and help me. You're able to free yourself from the predator's deadly embrace. Lay all widely with the branch. Your efforts are successful. Puma decides you're not worth the bother and disappears between the boulders. Fuck this guy. Take a deep breath and try to calm down. Look for the gold, but there's no sign of it. He died. He died of shock that I was so stupid. I might use that tent. Canyon. Oh. A bunch of bad stuff, huh? Let's use that tent. And then farm some dangerous terrain. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Ah, oh, yeah, I love the pain. I have a bandage, so I'm fine. Let's conserve on energy. Boulders. Careful. Yeah. All these dangerous events. Bad weather, night time. Yes. Falling rocks, I never move. Yes. They missed. <laughs> Rough stone, that's fine. It doesn't decrease, like, ze plus 30% to zero is just zero. Boulders. Yeah. Thumbs up. Oh my god, already over? Ah. Breaking all my legs. Trapped. Stig. Ooh. 
Those poor ankles. some planes. Uh, uh. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, da. <laughs> this is the best part. They farm. Clear away the rubble and let's charge it. I'm not losing energy. Oh no, my leg! My other leg! Oh no, the sanity one is the worst. It's running out very quickly. And the health. Oh, my arm! Whatever will I do? Oh shit. I mean, I have tea, I have tent, I have things. I guess the health is going to be the limiting factor in this one. Maybe I should climb. Maybe I should do that. Falling rocks. Yeah. Right after this, I'm just gonna bum rush the exit. Okay, my cat literally just came into the room, looked at his food, and then went back to the door. What is wrong with you, cat? Why are you coming everywhere? walking around again. I'm gonna punch his asshole. Disastrous. Disastrous boulders. Oh no, don't move. Don't have energy to move anymore. I'm dying. Maybe I should stop. Oh my god, what's happening to my body? Ah! Ooh. Oh, 
I don't have any more uh, thingy. Alright, I'm gonna deal with my cat while this runs out and then I'll be back. Legend says it's journalist is still climbing to this day. Oh, it's about to finish! Hell yeah! Red glow. Hey, that's the Firestone. Exhausted, you crawl into a narrow cave. You are safe here. As you descended, your amulet grew hotter and hotter. Its color gradually shifted to yellow. That's red. The stone was soaking up the radiation like a sponge soaks up water. Night has turned to a glowing red. You're starting to worry that the amulet might will burst when you hear a shrill siren in the distance. I cannot read. The knife will be reset soon. Oh no, wait, this is the Sims crystal. Now it's red. It's unhappy. It's in distress. Will the radiation be enough to break you free from the time loop? We'll have your answers soon. On Mountain 3, I guess. Uh... Ah! I don't think I'm gonna start another one. It's the two hours twenty one minutes. Minus the, the starting stuff and also the farming, but yeah. still like over two hours, so yeah. And for what? For what? Five thousand six hundred and fifty five XP for terrain? It's all dangerous it's 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 all just the dangerous terrain, baby. It's all that four goddamn thing back and forth. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. It gave me a level up, so I'm okay with that. You already reached the max level. Eh. So five is the max for these things. I'm guessing five is the max in the environment as well. Good to know. Wow, I wish I had known that. Oh, well. But these are still going up, so I got an extra 10 capacity. Oh, nice. And now we have high quality climbing axe and hiking staff. Plus another level up for my dudes. And dudettes. Hell yeah. What did I get for the quest? Mission reward. Environment. So this might have been even higher. I just didn't get more because... Damn, son. And the terrain stuff is all the uh, omission reward. The hours walked. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's walking. Journalist is a beast. A beast. Like my cat. What an asshole. You're an asshole. You are. Calm down. Jesus. When you wake up, you immediately look forward to the mysterious stranger. Her expression doesn't reveal whether your attempt to reverse the time loop was a success. Excitedly, you tell her about everything you saw, including the initials on the antenna. You want to know what it means. Why can't you see? You've already been up there at least once. Probably multiple times. We've met each other many times too, out there and here in the station, but you didn't believe me. It's only since you've had the amulet that your memory lasts past a single time loop. It allowed you to regain consciousness, and now you remember everything. 
You're awake now, Neo. Awake. Dab gnaws at you. Press F or X to doubt. Wouldn't it be better to just forget? The pain and the fear of being trapped here forever. Why didn't the stranger tell you everything right from the start? And what might she still be hiding from you? And what if you die? Do you reset still? Hmm. I know the situation we're in, we're in is no easy one. I wanted to give you time to get accustomed to it all. Time? <laughs> we're in no time loop. Uh, you know, it took me years to understand all of this. The importance of the stone in particular remained a mystery for me for a long, long time. It's the key to this prison. Prison? I'm gonna kill my cat. BRB. I gutted him like I gutted that corpse of a deer or something. I didn't find any herbs in his stomach though. He just died. Prison! You swallow hard. Oh. <laughs> Does that mean you scale the summit with the antenna for naught? And you're still stuck in the time loop? The story's overheated, just as it should be, but it didn't break the time loop. Please, give me time to think about this. In the meantime, we should probably go train some more. It's not over yet. Train? There are no trains on the mountain. Silly. Oh, look, it's red now. It's red. Inventory, boy, look at that. Awesome stick. <sighs> Garbage. Awesome climbing axe. Uh, not that good, but hopefully I will be able to see it on the mountain. Ten more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Garbage. I could get a trader. There. Actually, I find the climbing gloves very often, so I'm gonna take the. Everything froze. Oh. Senator plant. All right, characters, what we do now? So I got sprint. Oh no, I didn't get sprint. Oh, I just got heat, I guess, for this character. Whatever. This guy. This one. It's all about sanity, boy. Or sanity gain in events. Less energy loss, less sanity loss. Where about sanity loss? Two level ups for meditation. God damn it. Fresh. Team upgrades, the good stuff. Alright, so terrain knowledge. So which one is maxed? Eight. Eight. Is this maxed? 
These are maxed, yeah. So 10 points overall. This one still has a level in it. Okay. So... Use the energy cost in snow, use the energy cost in... This might be something to put points into. But I didn't. Resistances. Uh, death zone, night resistance. Cold weather resistance could also be nice. Body temperature. 0 0.2, fuck off. I mean, I could reset. I, mean, I have seven resets, but honestly, I don't care. The last two points I will probably put in. Well, cold weather is here, I guess. That's one that is the resistance of 0 0.6 is pretty okay. Because I can all probably find the ga the oxygen mask, so, you know, it's fine. And the flat one body temperature at night is okay. Event stuff. Reduce energy loss. Reduce time loss. Reduce sanity. Oh, increase sanity gain. Increase XP. Gain. Sanity gain and. Uh. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Ooh, everything unlocked. I'm probably just gonna keep with the journalist. Honestly, this is pretty OP. Like, the whole energy is not an issue. And with level ups, uh, body temperature will and oxygen will be no issue. Sanity. Well, of course it depends on what the mountain's uh, conditions are. If there's harsh weather or something. Like cold and with cold nights, so a lot of cold weather with cold nights, so body temperature will be a big thing here. Cold weather is more prominent with just energy costs, so journalist is fine here. It wants the scientist, so I'm not going to do that immediately. Normal weather, this is easy, although it says four stars, so it's probably very long and very very long death zone, probably. Called Eerie Surroundings. Now this, this is bad. Sanity loss? Yeah. That sucks. Sanity loss, but otherwise nothing else. This one, very cold nights. Very cold nights with very thin air. Now this, and it says it's only three stars. What? This sounds like the hardest. It says these are in four stars. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, more temporal anomalies. Oh, fuck. Four! That sucks. I need three only for the next map. Maybe I don't really want to just farm everything, because some things are getting to max level, so... Well, I'm gonna start another one, two and a half hours in. I don't want to do another four, four and a half or whatever long yesterday was. I'm okay. Ah, so, yeah. Side missions to come soon. I don't think I'm gonna stream tomorrow, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye!